Wow, what a week in news, huh? You had uh, you had the you had Senate passing a seven hundred billion dollar military spending budget <laughs> passed. Eighty five percent of the Senate has voted for it. Democrats, Republicans, all of them. The only one who stood up and screamed and yelled was Bernie Sanders. He opposed it, right? Seven hundred billion dollars for military spending. Right? I thought Trump was crazy. I thought I thought Trump can't be trusted with uh, you know the keys to your car, and it, giving him seven hundred billion dollars to spend on military increase. So, that was the big story of the week. Did you hear about it? At CNN, M- MSNBC. <laughs> it's nothing. It's a joke. Right? What was the other big news? Big news. McCabe uh, pleads the fifth. He's invited into Senate, pleads the Fifth Amendment, silence. You have uh, Comey, didn't show up. Loretta Lynch, invited, didn't show up. That's the big story. They're covering up election fraud. Covering up election fraud, right? Two biggest stories of the week. The, the, The entire, the FBI and the DOJ, former... FBI director and and Loretta Lynch, the um, attorney general, both plead the fifth. Don't don't show up at all. And Andrew McCabe pleads the fifth and says silent on all of the email Clinton email corruption, all the FBI scamming and quid pro quo. I thought they were great Americans. These are people that are supposed to. You know, when asked to serve and come in and tell you tell tell what you know, they fucking they don't go do anything. Two biggest stories in American, two biggest stories of the week, and uh, so why is it why is it mission accomplished for the for the for the for the politicians? This is mission accomplished, right? They were able to use the story of the four or five year old story of Mexican children being rounded up and separated from their parents. To hide from the truth, which is there's massive election fraud in this country, massive quid pro quo, right? massive bloated military spending to feed the military industrial complex. That far outweighs any minute, uh, incidental other story about immigration at the border, right? It has very little to do with it. But that's the focus, right? The other thing is that in New York on June 26th, it's today's June 22nd, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, there will be a fake Democratic primary election (laughs) where all the incumbents win. (laughs) So you got to cover that up. You can't, you can't, you can't have you can't have the Senate, you know, Senator Grassley pounding away at the FBI asking him real questions about election fraud. And then you have an election come up on on June 26th. So it's pretty obvious. Congratulations to all the um current senators and Republican, uh, you know, senators and Congress people. Very good job. You did an excellent job of gaslighting the American people once again. I mean, I I'm in a in a in a municipality where I hear people talk and they're talking about those children in the cages. Trump putting children in cages. It's gaslighting, you know, because all they're doing is watching CNN. Right? Force feeding it. That's the only, they get two minutes of the fake news and that's all they believe because it's a loop. When you watch CNN, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a fake loop. It's a real loop, but it's, it's, it's not even, again, we can't, I, I don't like, I'm starting to not like the term fake news. It is news, but it's irrelevant news. It's not the news that's important to people. There's a difference, right? It's not that the story of of immigration on the border is fake. And, and you know, as people, Susie, I believe, is commenting that a lot of the children may, in fact, be victims of uh, human trafficking and all that stuff. It's a very real story. But it it's a distraction from the major story, which is election fraud, hearings in Congress where our senators and our congressmen are supposed to grill the um, criminal forces at the FBI and the Clintons and the Clinton administration 
this administration, the Clinton Foundation. Right? That's the real news. That's where we are in America. Big... So congratulations again. Quid pro quo. And um, gaslighting the shit out of the American people once again. And uh, it wasn't Russia. <laughs> They're all playing ball in Russia right now. Kickball. Everybody's happy in Russia. You can't blame Russia anymore. Right? The whole world is coalescing around Russia in Moscow. <laughs> that's the funniest. I think that's the funniest story uh, 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 today, right? The whole month, everybody's having a good old time in Russia. And no one feels victimized. No one feels threatened. No one feels like the Russians stole the election. The only people that feel like the Russians stole the election are the the actual politicians that stole the election. The actual criminals at the FBI. The actual organizations like CrowdStrike that were directly involved in the in the scam and the ripoff of the American people. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube, and still candidate for the United States Senate. Independent election is November 6, 2018. Peace.